In a separate screencast video, we demonstrated how high school counselors can generate student reports with student record level data. So once you have generated your report, how do you use it? High school counselors in large high schools may have large and daunting Excel spreadsheets that include the names of 200 plus high school seniors. So let's find a way to manipulate those spreadsheets to make them more useful. First, let's learn how to sort. In Excel, some documents may open in protective mode. Click Enable Editing in order to edit the document. Now, I am using a Mac computer. I will do my best to point out the differences between a Mac and a PC um, when we come to those differences. First, position your mouse on the top left cell of the area you wish to sort. Left click and hold and drag your mouse to the bottom right corner of the selected area. And the selected area should be highlighted at that time as it is here. It is very important that you select all columns associated with a particular student. You can choose not to sort certain students but if you do select all students, be sure to select all columns for those students. Now, on a PC, on the Home tab, you will need to find the Editing menu, which will likely be on the right area of the ribbon, and you will look for a Sort and Filter icon. On a Mac, the icons will appear, and they will appear separately. These icons are similar. This is a Sort icon, and this is a filter icon. The icons, similar icons will appear um, on the PC menu. We are going to select, we are going to click on the down arrow and we are going to select custom sort. Determine whether or not you wish to include the header row in your selection and when we selected this box of cells we did include the, high, the header row and therefore we have checked my list has headers. So we're going to leave that box checked. Now I'm a counselor at Hospitality High School and I want to know which students have not submitted their help worksheet. So I'm going to sort by the column headed help WS. So I'm going to come here under column and I'm going to find help WS and I'm going to sort by the values that are in that column and I'm going to sort them alphabetically from A to Z because I want the missing records to show up on top and M comes before not applicable. Now I can and so click OK and you can see that my records sorted under, and so now only Luke Lackadaisical is the only student that I have at Hospitality High School who is missing his help worksheet. And I will be sure to reach out to Luke right away and remind him that this is something he needs to do. To filter your document, you will start in much the same way by selecting the area you wish to filter. On, on a PC, on the Home tab, you'll find the Editing menu again, which is going to be in the right area of your ribbon, and you will look for the Sort and Filter icon. On the Mac, you're going to choose the icon that looks like a filter. You're going to click the down arrow, and we are going to, um, actually, let's just click the filter icon itself. And by doing that, we see these drop down arrows in every single column in the area that we selected. Now, as a counselor, I want to make sure that I have certified the HELP core curriculum for all the students at my school who applied for the HELP scholarship. So let's filter by HELP core this time. So when I click on the drop down arrow, I do not see an option for missing which means that I have certified the core for all of my HELP students. I do see the option, however, for not applicable. So I'm going to filter for this to make sure that all of these students truly aren't eligible and that they self-selected during the application process correctly. So 
I'm going to deselect all and I'm going to select not applicable. And so now I see that two students at my, at my high school have um, self-selected that they, when they completed their state financial aid application, that they were not eligible for the HELP scholarship. Now I know Tina Hardworker personally, and I believe she should be HELP eligible. She has made a 20 on the ACT, she has a 2.5 GPA, and I believe her family income is such that she should be HELP eligible. But she did not indicate that she was when she did her application. Therefore, I will reach out to Tina right away and encourage her to contact the state aid office and update her application. To turn off all filters, simply click on the filter icon again and your spreadsheet will return to the way it was before.